Ghanaian jollof, that's a snack, but Nigerian jollof, that's a meal. You see, the problem is never us, right? It's them. Twitter beef, post grade wars, or how about flag be flag? Take two countries, you air out their common disputes, put them in a room together, and they stick their case. Simple. You put my veg in If you're gonna have veg, you're on the side. No way they're lying, bro. No way they're lying, fam. Bake, bake. Pam, if you know me! When someone tells you to bake, you have to. You zip it. If you know me! I don't think she understands what she just done. Bro, do you not see that? Speaking nonsense. Guys, <laughs> you know, oh so I can now assume she has egg with cornflakes. Egg, boiled egg, is not by force. Oh, see, what's good? What's poppin'? It's your girl Gina, G O A G O A G Unity, Money G, whatever G, everything. And today we've got the official first episode of Flag v Flag. I'm your host Gina, of course, as you know, and today I've got the teams, Ghana and Nigeria. So the question for you guys is, whose jollof is better? Oh, that's not a question. Nigeria. That's no, it. I'm that's sorry, it. it has to be garlic, like rice. Yeah, it has to be garlic. Because we use a different type of rice than you guys. No, you can't. My rice is better. What rice is better? What rice do you use? Basmati. Use basmati. 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 Because does every Ghanaian use basmati rice? Yes. Yes. I still think Ghana jollof is 10 times better than Nigerian. Not only the rice that we use, but the flavour also. There's something about Nigerian jollof, when you taste it, you know you're eating correct food. Like, Ghanaian jollof, that's a snack, but Nigerian jollof, that's a meal. Do you get it? You know, this shouldn't be a question. They put peas inside their jollof. No, 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 Jollof rice is like rice and stew. Yes. Yo, your rice is like rice. It's mushy. It's mushy, isn't it? It's mushy. It's mushy, isn't it? It's either it's like 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 Vegetable in our jollof rice, that is ghetto. Okay, <laughs> that is ghetto. Okay, if you're gonna have veg, play on the side. Okay, <laughs> play on the side. Is it difficult? Like, I think our rice is. I think jollof rice is better because it has everything that it does that Nigerian jollof rice doesn't have. It like. has flavour. It doesn't choke down your throat. When you see the <laughs> Put all that like, rice down your throat. You change it. You've got flavour. The thing's not dry. It doesn't look like rice in yeah. stew. Our rice looks orange. Our rice looks white. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Why? Let me throw it over No, that. I have one question. Okay, when you're eating rice and stew, do you have long grain rice? No. No, what That's rice like, do you have? Mm -hmm. That's my okay. Why? Why? Does it taste better? Yes. Yes. 100%. Yes. But you have to eat a lot. 
No, no, yes, no when it means it's my rice, you know they're small and everything. So when you're obviously solo and it goes through your throat, very nice, very calm and everything. But <laughs> these lot, yeah. That was on stage. These man there, yeah, obviously like, their rice is bigger, yeah. And obviously the cooking and it couldn't get bigger, yeah. And then. <laughs> <laughs> Our jello fries make sense. Our jello fries make sense. So, next question. Well, well, yeah. Yeah. Again. You know your jello fries. Normally it's hot, isn't it? Like really spicy. No, it depends on the person. No, but I know. Like I'm saying, normally you can handle normal. it. No, I'm, I can handle it. But I'm saying for other people, sure? for other people, it might be like hot rice, not really jollof rice. You get it? So when you don't cook, you do use the black grated pepper. No, we use no, we use scotch bonnet. But what I'm trying to say is it, it balances everything out. But yours is a bit too hot to the point where it just tastes like pepper rice. That's the thing. I'm trying to understand your point, so just give me a minute. No, but my point is normally it's a bit too hot. The first one I had banana rice. It tastes like. <laughs> I can say he's a dirty guy, do you know why? How can jollof rice taste like chocolate? Like a year ago, my friend gave me some going in, right? Brought it to school, whatever. And like, it literally just tasted like chocolate. His mom was a chef, so if she's a professional chef, that means. That's actually how the rice tastes, you know what I'm saying? We put the jollof in a bowl that we recently had cocoa pops on <laughs> That's why it tastes like that. Big man says, how's it going to taste like cocoa pops? Like, <laughs> it's, 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 it's because they use, um, what's this thing? Garlic granules only to season their rice. Doesn't therefore mean what? that they're making... She's not making any sense. No, I am. Um, but you're complaining, you, well, she's speaking for your yeah. team, that you guys don't do, don't do spice, but ours is too hot for you. Okay. I'm saying that's the equivalent of their spice. I don't know where you collected this babe from, like, back and forth, you'll pick her up where she's contradicting herself, she's not trying to hear it, it's like talking to a wall. <laughs> There's a difference between flavour and adding too much spice to your food. What I'm trying to say is yours is over, the, like, it's over the top when it comes to pepper, okay. like, as in it's too hot for me. And as in, I love, is, and this is coming like, from that me. one NCS no, babe. No, <laughs> no, no, I'm, that's why I'm asking you a question, have you ever tried yeah. someone else's jollof rice mm -hmm. that's Nigerian, yeah. that is bit, it's a bit too hot. Maybe Ghanaians can't hack Nigerians, but... I think that, that's it. Oh, so yeah. you're coming to a uh, middle ground then? No, no, I think so because if they don't see a problem oh, with it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so is it true that like Ghanaians put egg in all of their food? And if so, why don't Nigerians put egg in all of their food? Can I just say something? Else? Yeah. Basically, <laughs> meat meat is protein, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's egg not protein. Yes. Egg is protein. Mm -hmm. So all of our film meals are generally naturally like healthy meals that we actually eat. So sometimes we eat rice and we'll just put the egg there as <laughs> protein. <protein's laughs> and we're still getting the same nutrients in our body. That's why yeah. all of our just, guys are bigger. Just say it's cheaper guys, guys to get free range <laughs> eggs than it is to buy no, chicken. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not even. You know it's, I not think even think it's literally just a cultural thing, isn't it? it? Because it's just, if we're talking about Spain and France, they eat every meal from breakfast to dinner with bread. You understand? Rice with bread. Cornflakes with bread. Ghanaians eat majority of their things with egg. Like egg with cereal. Yes. Yeah. No, we don't do that. Why? 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 You can't do that. Why? 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 What the hell? What the hell? It's crazy. That doesn't make sense. He said, he said the Spanish, Spanish have bread with everything, cornflakes, everything. You said no, yes, it's a culture thing. I know, I just meant it's a culture you said it's a culture thing. Just like Ghanaians, we have egg with everything. They compared it to the Spanish, the Spanish culture about how people in Spain have bread with everything. So obviously, like it would make sense if, okay, if you're talking about culture, they're having egg with everything. So if the, the guy even said bread with cornflakes, so I can now assume he has egg with cornflakes. That does not make sense. Egg with cornflakes, you have to be a different type of finish to have egg with cornflakes. Just speaking nonsense. Oh, see, I said, yo, that's like, I'm, we're saying something, he's saying something completely different. Like, <sighs> Yo, get this guy out of his team, bro. Like, if you're slapping it with every meal, it's expensive <laughs> to buy chicken you know, and that, season it every single time. No, no, you have chicken, no, you have chicken and, and egg. egg. No, no, so, egg. what we've learned now is not only do they have the chicken, they have egg because they're greedy. Do you get it? <laughs> but, no. it is. Bro, do you not see that? And that's when you guys will be farting all over the place and. Just, just get out, get out of my face! But if you're talking about Ayamashi, mm -hmm. basically an upgraded shitter. 
Like, Sorry, I know. Me personally, I have a special type of love for Ayamashi, and Shito just can't compare. Like, you just can't compare to. Ayamashi is a whole different league, man. That's beauty in a food. And Shito is just, yeah, that's like Mio. Listen, you know what what I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even want to know what it is. From time he said jollof rice is spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like a stew. I said, yeah. more, more people know shit than Adam. Yeah. It's got meat in it, it's spicier, it's got more flavour. Like, shit off. The name it's itself, the name shit. shit. <laughs> 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 like, it's just shit. Like. shit. When you have shit off, they say that, oh, yeah, it's, this is spicy, it's spicy. I'm not sure it's spicy as well, but we've just upgraded it. Like, we've got we've got so many variations. Some are green, some are brown, some have meat. Like, you got you can do the boneless eye mache, or you can just do, like, oh, just variations. But these people are just waffling, like, just everything that's coming out of their mouth is absolutely waffling. The name is not appealing. The, the reason why this iron mash is so stupid is because they didn't even get the plot, the concept right. Shito is basically like a sauce that you use on the side of your food. Mm. The same as ketchup, the same as mayonnaise, it's just that. So imagine having mayonnaise with um, thingy inside of it, with chicken and that type of stuff inside of it. <laughs> 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 Does yeah. Do you not have uh, meat? Yeah. That shit is not a stew, so why well, is no, it? Wait, 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 wait. And there's chicken in your shit. When I used to go to boarding school, innit? <laughs> oh. When I used to go to boarding school, yeah, we used to have indomie and shit off. And yeah. there was no shit off that I had that didn't have meat inside. Oh. Shit off has meat inside, that. Like, it's so nice. That's, 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 that's what I feel like you man need to come back. Yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. Honest miscommunication. You get me? Obviously. One person says something, the other person says another thing, and it kind of clashes with the whole argument. So, really and truly, Garnier's got me in their shit off. No, 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 listen, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> listen, no, a lot about food, listen. Majority don't, because it's a sauce, like it's you said. Exactly. But you can have meat in No, the hold on, hold on, because that's not what you said. You said shit is like a side. It's it like is. mayonnaise. You wouldn't add meat into mayonnaise. Now she's telling me that shit you can have meat. So like I don't get. No, but the thing is, if you, you cook, if you cook mayonnaise, at, if you cook mayonnaise at home, what's stopping you from putting meat in? Now basically, no. This is what I meant. I meant. If you're cooking mayonnaise at home, what's stopping you from putting chicken in it? If you want to do it, you can do it. Is shit on our side? It's a side. Thank it's you. a side. Okay, it's sure. just meant to make your food a bit hotter. So if you're having like rice. Ayamashi is because it's sure of what it actually is. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. It's still a bit hotter. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know how you add it to rice? What kind of rice is it? Do you add it? Anything. Anything. So it can be jello fries. It can be jello fries. The one that's the lamb. So if it was spicy to begin no, with. No, you can add it. Add it. Uh, no, no, listen. No. Listen. You can add it. No, that has a different. That has a whole different, different taste. taste. <laughs> it tastes like fish with peppers and all of that in it. So if you want to add it onto your jollof, fair enough. It's gonna give it a different taste. Yeah, bake, bake, yeah. Hey, 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 oh. hey. Pam, if you know me, if you know me, Daryl in the corner was like wrong person. If you know me, listen. If you knew me, you should have said that. Period. Listen, I don't know what end she's from, but when someone tells you to bake. You have to, you zip it. Oh sister, quickly, you zip it. <clears throat> she thinks she's the wrong babe to come for. She doesn't know me. We'll lie to lie. Chelsea should have not come for this. Like, I don't think she understands what she just done. Who really leaves this episode like as the best team? So I have a few questions for you guys. You have about 30 seconds each to obviously deliberate with your team. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, you give me your answers. So the first question is, for each country, when was your last general election? So I'm going to start off with Team Ghana. When was your last general election? <laughs> One person speaks from the team. When was your last general election? Um, 2016. Do you know the month? December, and they appointed the president in January. Mm, perfect. Hey! Yeah. 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 Ah. <laughs> the right answer is 2019. Okay, next question. What are both of your country's population? Closest number to it gets the point. What's Nigeria's population? Um, I'd say like 94 million. 
94 million. Yeah. Okay, and that is wrong. Ooh. But obviously, depending on their answer, we'll see who's closest to the number. Okay, Ghana, um, what is your population? I'll say 57 million. 57 million? Just kidding. Just kidding. Let me do my calculations. And the country that is closest to their country's mm. population is Ghana. Yes! Just in case! Yes! Just in case! Okay, what are, apart from Jollof Rice, because that's what the episode was about, your top two most famous like food? Cool, let's start with Ghana this time. Ghana, what are your top two? Most popular foods? Uh, Vate, Fufu, and Suwache. Very nicely pronounced. You got one of those right, so you get the point. Um, yeah? Um, Kenke. Oh, shit! Oh, 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 oh. And Nigeria. What are your two <laughs> most popular foods? Remember, one will get you the point. Pardon, Jam. Number one. Mm -hmm. Number two is M. Um, Eba. Okay, you got Eba. Oh. Wait, what? No. Oh my God. Next question. Year of independence. So we'll start with you, Nigeria. What is your year of independence? 1994. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see. I see. 1994. Okay, Ghana. When was your independence? That's it. That's it. March 1957. Oh, well done. Yay! To end this episode, we can say that Ghana has bragging rights for now Woo! until obviously the next episode. But yeah, Ghana wins. Woo! That was a interesting episode, I would say. But if you like the idea of that, if you maybe want to feature in Flag V Flag, if you have your own common disputes with your own different countries, or even if you have things that you want to add to what happened in today's episode, make sure you comment down below or email me if you'd like to be a part. See you in the next episode.